All right, let's talk about what is happening if you are dealing with the cold right now. Now, uh, Bryce, you're joining us because you say once you've had the cold, there's not much you can do about the cold except for trying to make yourself feel comfortable. Feel better and more comfortable, that's right. You know, so we, we talk a lot on the show about comfortable food or comforting food. I'm yeah. going to give you some at-home, easy-to-do DIY remedies, in fact, which may just burn the time for you while you're not feeling so hot. Right. And guess what? They'll expedite your recovery. So Absolutely. Here's the epitome. The thing is, the epitome of health is not if you get sick. So now you're sick, the epitome of health is how quickly you recover. That's and so right. that's what we're going to talk about recovering and in comfort. Okay. okay. All right. So you're not going to leave the home to go to your local spa, likely not even the gym. In <laughs> fact, I don't recommend you exercise intensely while you're sick. Yeah. Here's an at home, we call it a Russian steam bath. You take a Ooh. chair. Uh, and safely, you stick a kettle under the chair, all right, yeah. so, so as to not burn your legs. Be very careful about this. You set it on, okay? Now it's boiling. You wrap yourself with two old, you know, sheets from around the house, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, a blanket. Mm -hmm. Five to ten minutes sitting on the chair with the boiler under the chair, okay? Yeah. I heed caution again. Uh, it is like an at-home sauna. Okay. Right, so you want that steam, the you don't steam. want a steam burn, no, so make sure you bath. are being responsible right. with that, but we it's will, a bath. We will have instructions to all of these things on cityline.tv and yeah. all of the uh, recipes, okay? Uh, to that, I love aromatherapy. There is yes. so many different essential oils out there that can actually induce immune function. So some of my favorites are actually peppermint oil, mm -hmm. eucalyptus we've heard of, tea tree oil, cinnamon. Yeah. I love this. In fact, they have been shown to induce immune function, so actually to bump up the immune system a little bit better. Nice. So so there's, you know, you can get these individually. This is just one that I happen to love. Sage, have you heard of these guys? Absolutely. They're amazing. So they They're combine, it's called an immune elixir. They combine all three of these into yeah. your diffuser, next to your Russian steam bath. You feel really good. And oh, then back yeah. off to bed, okay? Back That's off right. to bed. Back to bed. Right. Back to so, more episodic television for right. you. <laughs> Binge watching, right? <laughs> uh, you know, so teas, we talk a lot about teas, but here's the power of spices that are already found in your cabinet. You'll okay. find these, you'll likely find these. So two boiling water, and you know what? We'll have the recipe online, but this yep. is a pinch of that and a half a teaspoon of that, and throw in as much as you like of cinnamon. All of these have one theme, anti-inflammatory. Right. And immune boosting, but when we are sick with a cold or a flu, our bodies are purposely, purposely in a pro-inflammatory state. Yes. So we're trying to fight and kill off that virus or bacteria. So this will help take the edge off by adding uh, sort of a bit of an anti-inflammatory mm. immune elixir. To any and all of these herbs, you want to put a little bit of Manuka honey, immune mm. properties in Manuka honey as well. Okay. My favorite combination is cinnamon, black pepper, and ginger. And guess what? The piperine, out of black pepper, if you add turmeric, will accentuate or pull out the curcumin, the active in turmeric, yep. and make it work better in your body. So they're better together. Better together. So you're going to simmer that, you know, 20 minutes, and then you're going to pour it, strain it, and you're going to sip on it. Mm, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, Anti-inflammatory spiced tea. Got to speed up the recovery there. That's right. Now, we all chafe, uh, you know, whether we're blowing our nose or we're just dry yeah. and cracked. You know, remember to hydrate yourself, but this is a simple, easy, at-home lip balm. Okay. Oh, okay. Lip balm or, you know, and, and something you can put around your nose. Yeah. So beeswax, she butter, mm -hmm. uh, coconut oil, the rest piece online, mm -hmm. your favorite essential oil, okay, and, and what this is, this is the finished product that I actually made myself. It's untouched, so go ahead, that's for you. Thank uh, you, you very much. You can try that. I just uh, don't want to ruin Even under my your lipstick. under nose, not anymore. Because well, you just now put on I can, red. I put red on but it. But smell it. But uh, I added peppermint oil. That oh, was my favorite. Oh, that smells amazing. Yeah. And, like, and you put so it in a little use. tube. It's so professional. Well, Why don't here, you sell and, and these? What? You can get these online. Go market them. This is something you get on eBay or wherever your choice is online, and this is so easy to fill once you've boiled in a double boiler, and you know, you distribute it evenly, and away you go. Let it uh, chill in the fridge. Away you go. It's phenomenal. Tough, no chemicals, right? nothing like that. I love that. Now, we can't breathe properly at night. Right. Okay? So one of my first go-tos in terms of a cough syrup, this is an, a natural extract of ivy leaf. Okay. Proven clinically, safe and effective. Even in children, there's a children's version to help expedite phlegm. So mm -hmm. ivy leaf, try that. And it has a uh -oh. taste of honey. There is no honey in it, however. Okay. That's, no, no, really. It's a natural, but this is not like some this others. This is good. Right. It it's is nice good. And, it's nice and sweet. Kids will go to that and actually yeah. Yes. Use it. So safe, clinically proven, effective from Ivy Leaf. Ivy now, Leaf. last, this is called Mute. Wonderful new product to look for out there. So you know the nasal strips. I've been a fan of those for quite some time. Yeah. So they're a little bit hard, and they're a one-time use, and they can come off and so forth. This 
is a little device that you literally, and I've put one in this little uh, demo model here, you literally just slip this up into the nose yeah. and it opens the airways. It's for people like me with a deviated septum. Oh. You can breathe better at night when you're congested with a cold. Will this stop my husband from snoring? Yes, it's for snoring. It's been clinically shown to improve snoring. I'm taking yes, yeah. it home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know what size he is, but you're welcome to get him to try any and all He's of these. He's this right size. <laughs> so good. Okay, great remedies. Thank you so much, Bryce.